Monday morning. I just had a shower and the kitchen smells absolutely yummy. It smells of crumpets, but obviously I can't have crumpets. I get to have muesli. Not so exciting. Basically, it's like bird food for humans. And then for my drink, what do I get to have for drink? I can't remember what I bought now. I get to have these. So I don't mind a coffee. I love a good coffee. So, but these are Mondayan lingo. I don't know. Basically, this is what I'm having for my drink this morning. And then obviously with my muesli, which also begins with M, I can have good old milk. So I guess like it's better than having this on its own because that would be pretty like horrible to have. Muesli. Oh, lovely muesli. I'm really sorry as well, I'm still in my pyjamas and I've got no bra on so my boobs are looking a bit saggy but you know, got this lovely muesli to enjoy. It's not bad, it just doesn't really have like, taste of anything. But I have got bits of currants in and I think it's got some nuts or something. So it makes it like have a little bit of a flavour but this isn't my like go to breakfast i prefer like cheerios or like cocoa pops and um, also i don't mind a good old weetabix so it's now time for lunch and i'm really excited for lunch it's gonna be way better than breakfast we're gonna be going to mcdonald's like why not go to mcdonald's when today begins with m so i can eat anything beginning with m technically can i have mcdonald's i'm not sure but most of it's called like i don't know mcfries in it are they called mcfries they are today yeah and you get milkshake so i can have milkshake and mcfries McFlurry. are they mcfries or mcfries people always have a go at me because i say mcdonald's but it's mcdonald's but Anyway, I'm having McDonald's for lunch. So, thank goodness, guys, they have the Mississippi stack, which I can have today. And obviously, I can have it with milkshake. And also, I can have a McFlurry if I want to. So, that's good. Got my burger. It tastes so good. I'm so happy they were doing the Mississippi stack today. Because if not, that meant I'd have to have like McNuggets or. Um, McChicken burger and we really don't like them so this is so good I've actually had this before and then I got my milkshake went for strawberry in the end and then I got McFlurry but I got the mint one because obviously we've got to carry on the M thing today so I'm now going to tuck into my McDonald's mm. So okay so it's now time for dinner and to be honest i'm not that hungry just because we had mcdonald's for lunch and usually i don't have like a massive lunch and like breakfast but i'm gonna do dinner anyway just because then i failed at this video already we're gonna have minced beef and onion pucker pies and then we've got mashed potato i really love mashed potato I would normally make it myself, but I'm being rather lazy, so I've gone for ready-made. And then I was gonna do a few like mushrooms, bit random. I should have got like mushy peas or something. That probably would have went a little bit better with like the pie and mash. Okay, so dinner's ready. It doesn't look the most colorful, exciting dinners I've ever had, but we've got all the M's here and I'm sure it's gonna taste nice. Okay guys, time to make my breakfast which is tea cakes like i absolutely love tea cakes so i'm really looking forward to this i have got the grill on i think it's nearly heated up yep and i've got some butter to have on it on my tea cakes and i'm literally so looking forward to these i call these tea cakes but some people call these hot cross buns but to me they're like tea cakes is there a difference i don't know comment down below if you know the difference between them but anyway i can't wait to like munch into these i don't normally have breakfast like i think i've mentioned already but i've always got room for tea cakes all the pugs are like watching me because they think they're gonna get some of my tea cakes 
but I'm not going to be sharing them with you guys because I'm not sharing them, just not simply sharing them. And good old cup of tea, and I'm now going to tuck into my tea cakes. And I pretty much planned nearly everything that I'm going to be eating this week. Obviously, beginning with the letter of the day, but I've noticed there's actually a lot of things that are like carby. Well, actually, everything's like full of carbs that we're having this week. But there's a lot of like bread and things like that that we don't normally have. And when I have bread, I literally just blow it out like a balloon, which is not a good thing. But it would be worth it. Because hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. But I'm like there. Uh, tuck into the rest of my tea cakes. And I'll see you at lunchtime. So it's nearly lunchtime, but I need to go down the city. So I'm thinking of going to like Boots or somewhere like that that does like a meal deal because I'm thinking of getting like a like a tuna sandwich and then maybe I'll try and find some snacks that begin with tea. I have not prepared today's lunch at all. I'm not that hungry yet again because I had all of them tea cakes for breakfast which were super super yummy but yeah I'm now gonna head down the city and I'll see you guys when I've got my lunch. So I'm now back home. My hair is a mess. The city was absolutely packed. But for my lunch, I got myself some Thai green curry chicken like wraps. Um, we've kind of got wraps for dinner, I think, which is a bit annoying. But um, this was the only thing I could find. They did have like a tuna crunch sandwich, but it just didn't look appetizing and I don't really like tuna sandwiches. Then I picked up a twirl. And then I really struggled to find a drink. So I was thinking of getting like Tizer or something. Like it's like an energy drink. But I just couldn't find it. And to be honest, I think I've had Tizer drink before and it's not that nice. But I managed to get, and I could only get this size, Tango. Oh, that is good. Sorry, you can see everything in my mouth, which is not attractive at all. Okay. Mmm. It tastes exactly like a Thai curry in a wrap. Like, what more can you ask for? So yeah, this is a definite thumbs up. You can't see Mario, but he's jumping up. You want some of this? Do you want some of my sandwich? Yeah? <laughs> okay, I should have done that because they're all jumping up now. I can't wait to tuck into this. I'm sorry the camera's on the wall, but you kind of propped up on a like upside down plant pot at the moment. Oh, I can't wait to have this. I haven't had a twelve for ages. Mmm. It's like heaven. It's so so good. Right, I'm now gonna finish off my twelve and my tango. And I'll see you guys when it's dinner time. Okay, so it's time for dinner. Back in my PJs. Let me scroll up this so you can see me. Can you see me? Well, now we're getting blinded. Okay, so for dinner, I'm going to be doing tortillas. Oh my goodness, I look so rough. I'm doing tortillas. And yeah, I just basically bought this wrap kit from Lidl, I think it was. And yeah, so you get spicy fajita sauce and spicy fajita mix. I thought I might as well show you what's inside. We've got the seasoned mix, and then I think this is like the fajita sauce, and then we've got all our wraps here. Nearly burning the sweet corn, that's why I think you meant to put the sweet corn in last. Okay, so we just finished up dinner. I would say that the more expensive kits are better. Kit instructions told you to add like the seasoning mix with water. And then you have to add like the sauce and it was just too watery so I had to end up adding like my own spices to make it a little bit more thicker next time I'd probably just add the seasoning without the water but yeah apart from that it was quite nice excuse the hair just got out of the shower and I should have brushed it but anyway today we're having Weetabix well this isn't Weetabix because this is from Lidl's as you guys know I love and like you know shopping Lidl's all the time this is that whole grain wheat Bixies. But to be honest, like I prefer the chocolate ones they do. Um, but they didn't begin with W, so I had to go with whole grain wheat Bixies. Oh, I'm so lucky, 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 lucky. I get to have Bixies. 
Cheese for breakfast. I don't know about you, but when you have Weetabix, that's if you like Weetabix, do you find that you like a little bit of milk? Or do you like loads of milk? Like, that's the question. So, I like to have... Oh my goodness, I look so awful. I like to have a little bit of, like, milk, just because, if not, they go really mushy. And also, you have to eat them pretty quick, which I should have started eating. I don't know, but these ones just taste really weird. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. I've got sensitive teeth at the moment. Mm. Well, I'm going to carry on enjoying these lovely Weetabixes or Bixies. And I'll see you guys when it's lunchtime. So it's time for lunch, which I am super excited about because these are my favourite. Well, these technically aren't my favourite like brand or anything. Haven't tried these. But I'm having waffles. But these are actually chocolate coated waffles. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to try these. These are really cooked ones, so I'm not sure if I'm meant to like heat them up a little bit or something, let the like the chocolate melt, or do I just have them as is? And then for my drink, which I totally forgot about, and I actually bought this yesterday, but it's the Tesco's watermelon lemonade. I think I've had this before and it's really nice, but this was like 45p for this bottle, which I thought was quite good because usually if you buy like Coke in a normal bottle, it's like one pound something. I absolutely love pancakes, but these aren't really my favourite to be honest. They're basically like um, the type of like food, and this is not going to make sense, but hopefully someone will understand, that you like can just keep in the cupboard for ages. They're not like proper like fresh waffles. And I would have tempted to make my own, but it would have been a disaster. Mm. Looks so good. This looks so yummy. If you haven't guessed, for dinner we're having, I think it's called Welsh Rabbit, but some people call it Welsh Rabbit. But um, I think it's called Welsh Rabbit. But um, basically, it's cheese on toast. Mm. You know, random dinner ever, but it's just so good. It's like, you can't beat good cheese on toast. Mm. So nice. And I think this is also Walburton's bread, so keeping with the W. Mm. Not a lot more I can really say. Apart from we've got cheese on the toast. So it's Wednesday morning. No, it's not. It's Thursday morning. So this morning I'm going to be having some toast. Tea, Thursday, toast. With tea, a cup of tea, because I love my good cup of teas. We've got all the pugs with us today. Oh, we got that, Rose. What are you having for breakfast? A little pink donut? I love toast. Mm. For once, I didn't burn the toast, but it's a little bit undercooked. But this is not burnt. But yeah, I succumbed and put succumbed. Is that a word? I basically put marmalade on in the end, but it's not. It's just been really boring. It's still toast, so. Then I've got my cup of tea in the background now, which I'll drink later because I like my cup of tea to be really strong and it's just still really weak at the moment. I don't like it when it tastes milky, but mm, this is good. It's dinner time. Oh my goodness, I look so 
mega rough but um lazy day today i don't know if i mentioned that okay i'm gonna pop you there okay maybe not because you have still got a bit but i'm now preparing dinner and for dinner we're gonna be having tag tagatelli tagatelli i don't know if i'm saying that right probably not but yeah tag latelli so i'm gonna boil some of this tomato sauce i'm gonna be adding to this with the bacon and sweet corn and that's our dinner basically so i've got the water boiled okay this is where it all goes wrong because i end up adding like way too much pasta it always looks like there isn't enough so it says to add 75 grams per person and the bag weighs 500 so it's about a couple of these balls each but i just don't seem enough i'm just gonna throw a load in how many is that one two three four five six seven eight okay let's just add we're gonna we're gonna go in for half the bag or should i just bung the whole bag in no let's just go half the bag no actually i'm gonna add i'm gonna add a couple more because like i said we can have some for dinner tomorrow um lunch tomorrow okay so i'm gonna let that boil and then um once it's all done I'll do the reveal at the end so you can see what it looks like and it's definitely going to look much better than what I do. I'm looking so rough. Dinner is served. Do you find though that when you order things like in a restaurant, they always look so much better than what they look like if you try to cook them at home. I also find like when you find a recipe and the picture looks amazing and you try and cook it and it literally looks totally the opposite and does not taste good at all. But um, yeah, I think it doesn't look too bad. But I'm definitely sure it's going to taste better than it looks. Like, it just looks not so colourful. Like, I think I should have added some, like, green or red peppers in it or something. But anyway, that is my dinner for tonight. Tagatelli, tomato tagatelli. And, yeah, I'm not going to eat it all up and enjoy it because I haven't had pasta for ages. So I'm really looking forward to this. So guys it's now time for dinner the last meal for this challenge and basically we're going to be having fish and chips obviously i can't have chips because they begin with c and it's got to be f so i've gone for french fries which i think will still taste pretty nice with like um fish like fish and chips like french fries are basically like chips but skinnier are they or have i just like totally made that up and i've just got it in right on my finger again the fish in the oven already it's like battered fish it's like cod or something but it's still fish so we're gonna go with the f like you know the f fish but yeah but anyway i'm now gonna bung the french fries in the oven before like the fish is nearly cooked and then once it's all ready, I'm going to give you the verdict on these french fries. Like, are these definitely worth getting or not? Done. Dinner is ready and I think it looks pretty yummy. Okay, I'm going to try one. Of these fries um they're all right i guess if i add some salt and vinegar we might taste a bit excuse me spin food everywhere might taste a little bit better but i would still say that the chips are better like if i had the choice i'd probably get the chips again but um apart from that you know they are little chips fries they're not going to be like you know 10 star rating are they even though I do rate the chips, they honestly are so good.